Uh, I feel like it should be changed Cheeks. to the internet's friendly Dota 2 podcast. There what what does he say? What I just he... changed his gain. His gain's all out casual. of whack. Casual? Yeah, casual sounds like people don't want to want to listen to it. I think friendly is the way to go. That's uh, kind of true, though. Like That's how it is. The internet's okay. friendliest Dota 2 podcast. Yeah, go with it. Is really that true? Roll though? with it. I don't know if that's true. I think we should change it to friendly. Okay. Oh, it's true. All right. Well, we'll, do, we'll do whatever how much we need to do. So, so do we lose Mark? It's toxic. No, he's, no, he's here. He's you just need real to. So we need Sorry, I, I adjusted his game. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you need to do that. Mine. This too. is there. about when Ben would yeah. wonder whether he's getting recorded or not. <laughs> That's completely fair. Okay, I think we're good. Che- can cheeks, you say something, please? Uh, yeah. How's that sounding? That's not good. More, more cheeks, please. Try again. Check. 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 That's good. Me, I'm talking at you. I'm How about the in, the I'm internet's Dota ist? podcast you're an idiot let's go i'm just gonna keep it what it's been at how about that i I think it's friendliest i I think it's something to revisit i agree with cheeks i I do like friendliest i think you're outvoted brian friendliest well i mean that's what they said on reddit too they said uh that it was a that's what people per reddit per reddit yeah your dota's friendliest why don't welcome to what some people have called knows anything about being the all right let's do the show we're gonna do the show let's go so I'm on number three now because of you jackasses. Here we go. All right, here we go. Okay. Some of that was your fault. Jackasses too. are accurate. <laughs> well, the first one was my fault. But you might be including yeah. yourself in the word That's jackass. Not very I'm not friendly, sure. Jared. Hate it's you. Friendly all. Jackassery. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Means donkey. The Dota hattery. Here we go. <laughs> Colon pipe. <laughs> Colon pipe. Here we go. We like Dota is brought to you by your generous patrons. Find out how to help support the show at welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. We Like Dota, episode 46, starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to We Like Dota. This is We Like Dota, the internet's casual, friendliest, whateverest Dota 2 podcast. What a cop out. I'm Brian Sabone Yinger, and joining me this evening is Jared Clyde Frog Pedersen. How's it going, Jared? Hey, Brian. How's it going? We were having a discussion, and we were we were considering about you always introduce us as uh, the Dota's casual podcast, which is true. Um, but recently, we were also called the friendliest. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! 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 That shouldn't be time. That's that's not time for that. There we go. (laughs) New technologies here on We Like Dota. Yeah, that's when you were supposed to come in, I guess. Anyway, we're we're shooting for four. Should we give it our fourth try? (laughs) Nah, let's keep going. All right, let's roll with it. (laughs) Or do we restart? I think we restart. Ah, damn! Momentum gone. Way to call it out. Way to call it out. It needed called out at that point. No, it didn't. We were. It kind of did. It kind of did. Cheeks, can you say something again? Yeah, yep. hey. Okay, that's good. Friendliest okay, yep, we're Dota good. Two senior executive producer who doesn't play Dota 2 because he can't. Yeah, well, Aww. that pretty much speaks for all Aww. of us. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Fourth time, I hate you all. Here we go. Well, you were right, Jared. <laughs> we Like Dota is brought to you by generous patrons. Find out how to help support the show at welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. And now, We Like Dota. I thought you weren't going to say and now anymore. I'm going I'm to F you. I'm, uh. That's Brian's fault. Brian, don't, right. so, don't sound so smug either. Cut, 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 <laughs> cut. Come on. Cut. Here we go. a little more earnest. All right. We're just, going, all. we're just going full throttle. We'll fix it in post if we need yeah, to. Yeah, post. All right. We're not doing that. We Like Dota. I hate you guys. We Like Dota is brought to you by our generous patrons. Find out how to help support the show at welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. We Like Dota episode 46 starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to We Like Dota. This is We Like Dota, the internet's uh, friendliest casual Dota 2 podcast. 
I'm Brian Saboniger, and joining me on this complicated and frustrating uh, <laughs> evening is Jared Clyde Frog Patterson. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Oh, so great today. Uh, we're, also we're joining having a us, wonderful day. Also joining us is Ben Yadneb Day. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah, you believed that introduction, didn't you, Brian? <laughs> it's with it, your heart. It's great to have you back on the program. Yeah, man. I mean that sounded, as seriously as possible. Sounded <laughs> really sincere. With yeah, yeah, we're definitely the friendliest. Yes, definitely. Sure. Yeah. Uh, sure. And also Whatever. joining us is senior executive producer uh, Cheeks of Flappin. Hello, Cheeks. Hello. It's good to be back. Hey, we, Cheeks. Uh, we got a brand. We got some new hardware here on the show. Yeah. How's that going for us? It's uh, well. We're in the uh, bug ironing stage. Forty minute delay stage. Yeah, it's a little. Minutes, it's yeah. been a little bit of a struggle today. Uh, but yeah. But for the record, you gave me the choice. Let's start at four or five. Yeah, you said I chose five. Five, mm-hmm. and that's really what we're gonna probably end up doing, roughly. Well, yeah. it's it's twenty it's closer to five closer right to now. five than twenty. But we w- if we started at five, we would have started at five forty. I don't believe that. I think it would have been probably okay. pretty close. All right, well, guys, let's uh, <laughs> let's kick off the show here as we always do with who'd you play? Sure. And uh, we're gonna start with Cheeks this week. Whoa! Wow! All right. Whoa! All right. Well, t- honestly, I haven't been playing a whole lot of Dota because I'm kind of funny. Mm. I've been on the uh, on the horn with them multiple times over the last month or so, saying it's like I'm getting all this crazy lag spikes, and it's not just Dota; it's other online multiplayer games. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, so I'm kind of thinking about starting launching a Twitter campaign, hashtag put cheeks back in the game. We need you back in the and game. And then just yeah, tweeting my uh, ISP. Yeah, we need we need me back in the game. I like that idea. We'll just spam your ISP. Who who else It'll are we perfect. gonna get to take core heroes and play them as supports? Absolutely. Oh wait, exactly. We hey, can, we can that get Jared bot to do that. Match I had against Ricky. Richard, was really good deal. Richard, day. yeah, again, yeah, with 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 Ricky, that was really yeah. good. I think I still think that's a viable thing. I think yeah. Jared no, might I... not be far off on that. Have you thought about going pro in Dota bot matches? <laughs> <laughs> I am actually, I am, I really am. Because I've been I've been starting to play on unfair, and I feel like I'm still doing Classy. okay. Classy, that's good. That's Speaking really of, good. apparently you can yeah. spectate bot matches now, and apparently some dude casted a 10 v 10 or a 5 v 5 bot match yeah as a tournament like he ran it as a tournament and just do you know who like who that. was in the comp that won do we know oh i have no idea i'd be necrophobe. curious i've know. only heard like necro, that, yeah. that necrobot is, that necrobot so, is so, strong. so stupid that guy's a jerk that so, guy's a total jerk so cheeks have you been playing any single player games since you can't play multiplayer games good, good. your okay. internet's working real well it's going well so as you can see, we need that campaign, I guess. Yeah. All right. Get cheeks. Indeed, back. we do. I really <laughs> okay. do. All right. Well, cheeks, we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say ta ta to you, and we'll see you at the bottom of the show. Does that work out okay? Yeah, I'll see you at the bottom of the show. All hopefully, right. yeah. Hopefully, okay. yeah, it'll work out for us. We'll see you at your bottom. And and by the way, uh, those of you in the chat room, stay tuned. Mister Cheeks of Flappin uh, has a game code in his possession to give Special out to surprise. one person in the chat room for the game. Is there anybody uh, left Dead in the Space. chat room after it took 40 minutes to get started? Here? I'm told there's four. Okay. In the chat room. Hey, hey, good odds. Hey, good hey, odds right. to win something. So for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be giving away games in the chat room and cheeks is going to have those and give those away. So, yeah. So uh, we're going to attempt to stick close to a four o'clock Eastern Eastern Easter and Sunday. Yeah, it should go a little smoother next week. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah. But especially, anyway, especially uh, with the holidays, I don't anticipate any reason that we'd need to change anything <laughs> at any point. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, uh, <laughs> Cheeks, we'll see you at the bottom of the show. Indeed you will. Yeah. Okay, there we are. Uh, yeah, that guy's got some internet problems. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Okay, uh, Jared, let's move on to you. Who do you play this week? Uh, let's see. I played a couple games. Um, I got in, of course, my uh, obligatory uh, Dazzle match because I'm absolutely in love with him right now. Oh, da- I, I love like Dazzle. Dazzle. Yeah. I do like Dazzle. Big fan of the Daz. I like the Daz. Yeah. Um, I played a game with Ben, uh, and we had quite possibly the worst combination of heroes ever. Oh, no. What happened? It's, it's got to be top, top five at it least. It was yeah. terrible. Um, just so everybody knows... Uh, support gyrocopter, I think, is a thing. I think I agree with you. It was not disproven. It is not a thing with OD. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why is that? 
At least not when Jared and I are playing. Yeah, those we, characters. we had terrible. Yeah. Conv- Did you guys lane together? No, no. Okay, but just, just, every, every team fight ever. Yeah, he was constantly imprisoning my the guys that had the little bomb that's chasing. Oh, them. yeah. <laughs> right before that rocket, it is. was it was pretty it great. Was, yeah, it was not a good time to make you. Well, yeah. Well, Ben and I always have issues when we play OD and Mirana. No, but that's I can like never well, that's that really either. difficult to do. But we think we almost have it. This was like yeah. This is oh, the uh, super right. obvious. It's like oh god, not again. Well, can't you just say? Hey, I'm putting a, a missile on X hero. Yeah, hey, don't but then what usually would happen is Jared would say, "That guy that you just put uh, astral imprisonment on, I already had the bomb thing." Oh, chasing right. Him. So it was after the fact. So you yeah, need to reverse well the this. Too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. It was well after. And you know that thing moves so dang slow. But that bomb yeah. would hit those people when they were in their other dimension or wherever yeah, it is mm-hmm, that they go. Mm-hmm. It would hit them often. And and, and by I mean what I meant is I would that say it would fifty percent of the ones that I got off. Would would hit into that yeah prison where it would do nothing yeah exactly yeah it was great it was super annoying mm. that and then the call down into the imprisonment it was mm. bad I do think OD is a great counter to gyro oh yeah for sure that's gonna be fantastic for sure yeah I think I think the OD and gyrocopter would do just fine together as long as you get your crap together yeah no, our communication was did pretty not. lacking yeah. okay um, <laughs> it was bad it was pretty bad but anyway yeah that was a lot of fun okay um in regards to internet I got a new ISP. Myself, because yeah. yeah. I have options, unfortunately. Is yours going okay? It's going great. Good. It's going great. So, so I actually you have the ability. Switched over, who'd you switch over to? Uh, Uverse. Okay. You, and you're doing okay over there at yeah. the Pedersen yeah. household. Got a DSL, dedicated line, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Streaming pretty. Everything on source quality. Everything on source quality. It can get two or three at a time. It's great. You can now use multi-twitch. Yes. <laughs> have you seen that? That's so nice. It's great. <laughs> it's so nice. All right. But, uh... Yeah, uh, another gaming news. I did get a uh, a new mouse as well. Oh, let's talk about That's this. Really yeah, yeah. I, I believe it's called a Red Dragon Mammoth nine button mouse. Mana mammoth. Oh, mammoth. Yes. The Red Dragon Mammoth. I believe so. I don't know. It's super cheap on Amazon. Manufactured by the people at Red Dragon. Yes. Okay. Is it suitable for your large hands? My hands aren't that large, actually. I thought you said they were large, and you needed no larger mice mice. No. I have actually pretty small hands oh, okay. for the size of guy I am. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's the size is nice. It's one of those that you can change the weighting, so that's kind of nice. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you do that? It's got little little like inserts. Oh, that's nice. You know, like the Pinewood Derby cars that have like the yeah. weights. <laughs> yeah, you can like take them out. Yeah. So it's neat. It is. It's pretty neat. Remember the episode of South Park with the Pinewood Derby car oh, yeah. that Stan launches into space. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that so episode. Uh, but I think that on. might be your favorite episode. You talk about that episode a lot. It's pretty good. Yeah, that, that might be your one. favorite. In the space police. <laughs> God. Right. Uh, but Ben, what about you? What uh, What's going on with you today? Yeah, so I uh, played a lot of games when I was on vacation there for a couple weeks. But I'll, yeah. I'll tell you about my Dota experience was mostly Medusa and yeah. OD. So having some fun playing with both of those, even when we had some awful experiences with Gyrocopter. Yeah, that was a bad news. And then uh, had a, had a, had some adventures with Cheeks in internet gaming. So <laughs> uh, we attempted to play some Call of Duty. Yeah. And he would... Uh, essentially teleport all over the place and rubber bands and do all that. But I think the better adventure is advantage actually. And this, this was in Dota two. No, this, this was, well, we didn't even try Dota two. This oh, okay. was in uh this was in, on the Xbox version of call of duty. Oh, right. And then can we you also get a competitive played... edge from that, from I, the rubber banding? I, I don't think so. Cause I think the other people on his screen were probably moving like crazy too. Mm. I would think cause he mm. was, was probably so bad. It's probably point. killing him. Probably killing him before yeah. he even saw that they were there is my guess. That's but, fair. Or before he knew that he spawned. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> and then also we played some, uh, or attempted to play some cooperative far cry Four. <laughs> okay. Which was really fun. So All we right. went around and, we would get into a boat and we would drive the boat and then we that would... game doesn't seem to have like an actual purpose. I haven't figured out the purpose. <laughs> it, the purpose was to try to get the connection to last for more than five minutes. <laughs> okay. okay. Did not did not happen. We did have one experience where we managed to like clean out an op- outpost of villains at one point and that was something. So. Okay. Um but yeah, we mostly would just get into a boat or a car and we'd drive around. We get really excited for what we were gonna accomplish. And then he'd lag out. And then he'd lag out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd like reverse the connection so that the other one would host and that yeah, would lag out. out. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so outside of that, my only my only positive gaming experience sure, it made some fun has been uh, Dragon Dragon Age Inquisition. That's been really fun. 
Okay. Some so. people have said this is like Skyrim on steroids. Is that no, correct? That, I don't no. think that makes any sense. It's okay. it's kind of like it has some Skyrim like elements to it. Okay. But it's very it's a Bioware game, so it's like yeah. Mass Effect and I love that kind of thing. I think so you would really better. like it actually. Okay. And the Halo multiplayer is working well enough, Jared, that I was able uh, to play one match of Sidewinder today. Yes, I know that's Sidewinder. Your favorite, uh, that's your favorite I cannot, map. I so. cannot wait to actually play that. Again. I know we'll have to we'll actually, get a little Hang'em High. I'm waiting for it to get stable and... enough to actually have you. Pistols come over only play. on Hang'em High. God, yep. yes, it's so great. So it's fun to play Halo One maps on the internet. So. Yeah, no doubt. So much fun. Good times. Did you ever do that with Halo One, where you could hook your Xbox into your computer? And, like, you could do multiplayer gaming through a connection that your Xbox would make to your computer. We didn't was, need to do that because Jared had a constant LAN party set up at his apartment. That's true. Yeah, that was, <laughs> so, I remember welcome, doing that. Welcome to college. It was, like, it was every night, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Pretty much. Well, we had, like, multiple Xboxes. It was pretty, yeah. yeah it was funny. Well, it, yeah, it worked through, um, what was the, the gaming service with the, with the dude in the green jacket? It kind of looked like a... Game Spy? You, yeah, Game yeah. Spy. Yeah. The oh, dude yeah. looked a little shady. Yeah, they had like some... Uh, I think they kept Halo 2 alive through that somehow. Yeah, too. Okay. no, I so. think that's exactly true. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, good that's, stuff. that's good. I'm happy How to hear that. How about you? Then. Did you play any Heroes or any gaming or anything? I, I played a single match of Dota last week. Okay. Which is okay. disappointing. What, uh, who did you play? I'm very disappointed. That's the question. Who did you play? I'll give you guys one guess. Marana. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Mostly because Boring. I traded a new mount to Jared, mm-hmm. or yeah. he gave me a new thing. So there's that. I played it with Kyle. Uh, it was actually one of the more fun matches we played in a while. It was a 75 minute long match, <laughs> and okay. if you look at the XP graph for it on Dota Buff, the only time we have an XP lead is uh, at about the 10 to 15 minute portion of the game. Mm-hmm. The rest of it is just a steady incline. Uh, to our disadvantage. Oh. And somehow we won. I wound up getting, like, MKB and Lincoln Sphere and BKB and a couple other things. Played. We played against PA, and, yeah, it was good. It was fun. We had a good time. Always fun. So we won in the late game, which is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, I played... I've been wanting to get back into the Walking Dead Telltale adventure game. Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, I have Season 2, and I haven't played it. And after watching... Did you finish Season 1? No, I only got about halfway through it. You're not going to finish season one first before you do season two? No, I am. Oh, That's okay, why I'm, okay. I'm replaying season one. Yeah. <laughs> to heck with it. Yeah. That's a good Could clarification. Could have been that important. Yeah, there's nothing really that Because on, sure. uh, on the video game awards, they were up for some different awards and stuff. and mm-hmm. some. Did you watch awards. those? I did a little bit. Yeah, they were pretty good. I was, yeah, I was somewhat impressed. Yeah, I agree. That, yeah. Nintendo had a very strong presence there. They did. They had the. Uh, they showed a little bit of the new Zelda game, which mm-hmm. looks pretty neat. And Reg- you can ride, Reggie was there. You can ride the horses. They just ride. They just drive themselves. The horses. Yeah, but <laughs> so you so you can them, shoot so. arrows, not just out of laziness. Yeah. So there's like reasons for it. Well, and they're yeah. so they're so smart about it too. Like so smart. They're so smart about it with the horses too, because they're like. Horses in real life don't run into trees, so why would ours? <laughs> right. That's I was a, like, that's n- so logical. N- Nintendo logic at its best, <laughs> yeah. really. I was like, that's so logical. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Right. Just like when you push down on a platform, you're going to fall through. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Other than that, uh, I've been playing the game Kingdom Rush on my tablet. Okay. Recommended to me by uh, Michael Edwards of the Flipping Tables podcast. Good guy. Yeah. It's like a. It's probably the best tower defense game I've ever played. Wow. Some of those mm. get to be a little boring, but this one's fun because you can like kind of skill up. There's like different things that you can level up and stuff, and it's kind of fun. It's a good time. <laughs> it's good stuff. Level up. That's the sign for leveling. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, this means level up. All right. Jared, bring us the news. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, well, first off, I want to mention something um, that I thought of bef- that we don't have on the show notes. Okay. Did you know last month, PA actually was played more than Pudge. Hey! Wow. Well, I'll take that. Like the, I think the well, this is first time in a long time, Yeah, right? the first time in a real long time that I can remember that anybody being played more than Pudge. So the only solution to this now is a Pudge Arcana with an event surrounding it, right? To bring Pudge back into the... Cause yeah, my we, we need to see more Pudge. Ice Frog wants Pudge at the top at all times. Yeah, I obviously. Think. Obviously. We need to see more Pudge in our pub plays. The Pudge bias. Yeah. Um, that is interesting. Well, well, the thing that I like <laughs> about that is I would rather, honestly, I'd rather play against PA than I would Pudge. Well, yeah. The potential, I feel like the pot- potential to feed against those heroes is the same. Yeah. Uh, but PA, 
I don't know. There's something about it. She's a little more straightforward, I think, that I yeah. like. Well, you don't have to change the way you play as much. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe you change an item you would build or something. Yeah. You right. Change you're your not, play you're not style. in constant fear of being hooked and just be like, oh, God, dismembered again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. PA is the Ugh. far better team fighter, though. Yeah. You know, with I Pudge, think, yeah. you just. You just, you just actually team fight. You just, team fight, you just get through the early game yeah. and you're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. All right. So, uh, otherwise. Uh, we that's have, good uh, fact. Good yeah. fact. It was interesting. Um, the Summit 2 uh, wrapped up last Sunday after our podcast. And uh, Vici 3 won to Cloud9. Yeah. And it was not close. Yeah. It was not close. Well, Game 3 uh, was actually really good. Yeah. That was the only one. Vici of the three. should have won that one. Yeah. But, yeah. It was the was only it, was one. Was it a best of five, I assume? Yeah. Okay. And it was not too close. So Okay. But to run down, Secret got third, um, EG fourth, and then Tinker not today, fifth, sixth. Yeah. So. Cloud Nine really liked the Phantom Assassin. I well a what lot. It, what it was is I think it's they want the to they want to start <laughs> using her as a rat, like as a split pushing hero. Mm. Interesting. Um okay. because if you look at it, her illusions Yeah. If you build her up, they have evasion when you, you know, use a manta. Right. And then you can split push towers really easily with her. Of, Wait, okay. the illusions have evasion? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. So, pretty legit, actually. That is pretty legit. Okay. But yeah, I think that um, there was an interview when Aoi was talking, or somebody was asking why they were liking PA so much, and yeah. Aoi basically said, Envy would kill me if I told you. <laughs> Okay. But I think that was part of the reason. Interesting. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, lots of things scheduled uh, back-to-back this summer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Brian, tell me about what, 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 you, what you meant with this. Okay. Well, and this has kind of been an ongoing conversation mm-hmm. um, these past couple of weeks is just how, and especially an on- ongoing conversation with us, is like how saturated the dota 2 tournament scene has kind of gotten no that's truth um and there's and my show notes are not popping this up good lord uh hold on but yeah so anyway it's it's all taking place in like uh what is it july and it's all it's like star ladder no not star ladder okay it's okay so here's the so dates ML, oh you got it okay june 26th to 28th is mlg season three okay that's rumored. June... That's not confirmed. Wait, they have these listed weird. Okay, so DreamHack is June 13th through 16th. Right. ESL1 in Frankfurt is June 20th through the 21st. So the Oh, God, the next week. MLG Season 3 is rumored to be June 26th through the 28th. So, like, three of the year's biggest Dota 2 events are all back-to-back like that. Well, that yeah. should be in close proximity to TI as yeah, well. Yeah, and then TI is going to be right around there. Yeah, and who knows when that's going to be. Yeah. It could be July. July. It could be August. Who knows? Wow. And and you know there's going to be at least like four seasons of Star Ladder going on at the same time. For oh, yeah. Two. <laughs> well, Team Tinker has already dropped out of Star Ladder. So did EG. Oh, they did. EG it's, dropped it's out of big. Star wow. Ladder. Okay. Yeah. Which, that that's kind of, that's not, I don't know. Those are two big teams, but I feel like Star Ladder has always just been so focused on Europe anyway. Sure. Yeah. Who cares? They did try to make it a little bit more of a global thing last year, but... Well, and I think they've succeeded. They're, you know, including China and mm-hmm. Southeast Asia now yeah. as well. So that's kind of interesting, but yeah. But yeah, I did I did see a tweet from AUI. Are we calling him AUI or Owie? You can call him what you want. Okay. I call him Owie. Okay, so from Owie, he, he made a tweet about... How it's just like way too much, and you know it just sparked there is, off all these conversations well, about it. Well, there's been a lot of pros that have said that, and it's going to be interesting without Valve, you know, running one show and running the whole scene. Right? How's that all going to shake out? And it's going to be probably what I imagine is you're going to have a few bigger tournaments that are going to be kind of your pro tournaments, mm-hmm. and then these smaller ones are going to have to draw on some of these up and coming amateur more type teams. I think so. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I think. That's really because I can't imagine they're all just going to be like, "Oh, we're not going to be the the tournament." Yeah, it's really going to be the pros have a little bit of power in terms of what they actually pick. Well, and I think it's gonna it's gonna allow people to actually start using this as what the hell was that, Brian? What Do you hear, was what? You hear, I don't hear anything. You don't hear that sound? Did you hear that? Is that just no. me? Okay, <laughs> go ahead. I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm going crazy. Um, <laughs> are you okay? Are you on drugs or something, Jared? I, maybe it's the seat that I'm sitting in this week. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just too relaxed. Okay. 
I, I keep, yeah, anyway. Do you still have your thought? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll do a little bit. Here we go. We're going back. So I think, I think it's going to allow people actually start doing professional gaming as Dota, though. Because, I mean, you see a lot of people that are students that are doing, that are, you know, the the, the pros. You yeah. think it allows more people to enter into that scene? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think okay. to actually use it as a lifestyle. Okay. Mm. Or like a job. Yeah. So it's allowing for more pros. Right. More career pros, if you will. Yeah. This is your argument for more tournaments. I'm seeing, I'm trying to use this as a positive. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I don't disagree with you. Because, I mean, there's more potential. There's more prize money yeah. out there. I mean, that's one good thing yeah. if you're looking at it that way. But at the same time, all these land finals, you're having to travel like crazy. Yeah. It's hard. And to be it's honest, dumb. like... Do is it is it the end of the world if if Evil Geniuses doesn't play every single major tournament out there? Like, do they need to? No, as long, it's going to depend on how. I I think I feel a little bit for the pros, and probably the reason you're getting these people who are saying these things that they're upset about it is because there's pressure from the ownership of these teams that they do do that, right? Because right. it's an investment. So, um, the people managing and point. owning these teams. It's only to their advantage that their teams have an opportunity to win in some capacity every yeah. single week, right? right. So it, I do worry about pro burnout. I do worry that maybe some really good players are going to say, this isn't the career that I want to have. I mean, yeah, base, baseball is 160-some games, but they at least have an off season. Yeah. No, that's a good point. There's not enough protections here, maybe. That might be the issue. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. All right, what else do you have for us, Jared? Um. I don't have a whole lot else, actually. Uh, I think. Let no, me, we, we we skipped did. some things. Oh, we were talking okay. about evil geniuses. Maybe there's something related to them. Okay. Um. Oh yes, Twitch bought Good Game. Ah, yes. There it is. There it is. That was a thing. Which Good Game is kind of the umbrella company for popular teams such as Evil Geniuses and Team mm-hmm. Tinker. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's a couple. Is of... Is Alliance a part of that too? Alliance yeah. is a part of that. Yeah, and then you know also that I think they have starcraft and counter-strike teams sure and then also like the d2l they run that so i guess the question i had or concern i had is is it okay for really the biggest content provider to also be in this game of owning some of the teams is that is that giving preferential treatment to teams or give an opportunity for that to happen is is there an issue where there's maybe a bias here that's not fair. Like, what do you guys feel about that? I think I think that could be a thing. It could be. I think that very well could happen. Yeah. It it kind of reminds me of like when Comcast bought NBC Universal. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You right. You know. I mean, obviously, this is completely yeah. different. Or ABC but... buying, you know, ESPN and all that jazz. Or yeah, I mean, Disney, ABC, ABC owns everything. And yeah. then Disney, Disney buying ABC. It's a little different because we have a competitive sport, though, right? It's not right. like, I don't know. No, it's different, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there could be some sort of conflict of interest, but I can't really come up with that scenario. Well, I think the biggest one I can think of is who gets promoted. Twitch gives you your feature channels, right? Right. Right. Why would Twitch not, every time they want to feature a Dota channel, yeah. choose EG, what? Alliance, or Tinker right. as their feature channel? And they probably will. Right. They probably will. To right. Some and, and, and I think that that plays out when we have all these independent tournaments, many of which, in my understanding, are invite tournaments, right? Where you get an invitational to participate. Yeah. Some are, yeah. So, <laughs> the, how, how could there not be a conflict? I'm hoping there's not. But there certainly appears that there could be an element of conflict there where it's like, well, Alliance maybe is not the best team, but Alliance is a team that's going to get my tournament to the front of the Twitch channels. Right. And my tournament more exposure and my tournament more money. So I'm going to get those teams in there that are owned by Twitch. No, that makes sense. I mean, I think there could be a problem. Again, it's a problem, but it's not really a problem with the solution because Valve has no oversight over this stuff. Right. So That's exactly it. There's absolutely, again, I think we're just back to that root of the issue is there is nothing really preventing a lot of corruption within esports, at least in, in the Dota e- esports scene at the moment. Yeah, which is yeah. fair. I mean, so. yeah, I think, I think it, there are some positives to this, yeah. at least for. Yeah, I mean, okay. clearly for good game, there's some positives. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm thinking they probably. I'm thinking they probably got bought for, I would 
think at least 10 million, right? Well, I think yeah, and when I you were no I think idea. when you guys were talking about it earlier, I think Brian and I we were talking about it through a chat maybe. Yeah. That was the big positive is maybe this brings more money into it. And just in general, and more money into esports could be a really positive thing yeah. to keep it it's sustainable. And I don't I don't disagree with that. for those players yeah, as well. Sure, I would yeah, think. sure. Yeah. Wouldn't they have to have like health insurance and that kind of stuff and They like, might. I don't know. I, I mean, don't I don't know. know. I, I I hope that something happens that brings well, some if they live in the U.S., they have to. Yeah. <laughs> right. If they're a U.S. team, right? Yeah. They, they might be paying for it, but they have to get it. Um, <laughs> I, I hope that in some way there's something that brings, and maybe it's just these earn, independent tournament providers need right. to come up with something, but there needs to be some sort of oversight in some of these things, or else I think it's going to kill esports is the problem. Digital sports. Dig- <laughs> is it called digital sports now? I don't know. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. But no, I, I definitely agree. It's It's... I don't necessarily feel great about it, but I don't know why I feel bad about it, if that makes sense. Yeah. It is interesting, and it is it is really cool for, well, even just one, for Amazon to buy Twitch, I think is really cool, and gives kind of a sense of legitimacy to the whole thing. Sure. And mm-hmm. then for basically that same company, which I think Twitch is still basically acting independently. At least like at this point, yeah, it did. seems like it. Uh, seems like it, yeah. It does give a sense of legitimacy to competitive gaming, which is really cool. Yeah, no, I, I think that. I think that's true. I think anytime you get these sales, I just I hope they figure it out. I just I worry about the competitive scene of in Dota, and I'm not as big a fan of this as you guys are, but I just worry about if things get too messy that that it's just gonna, just it's just going to kill it. So, yeah. which I think as long as as Valve can get there, I think that's the big thing. If they can get the international figured out, if they can solidify those rules, get the production value better. That's that they need to lead the way, and I haven't seen Valve be a real leader in that. Yeah, right. a lot of the other tournaments are ahead in a lot of different ways on that. Yeah, so, so I just I would like to see yeah, Valve, Valve's been pretty laissez faire. Valve's not doing Dota two any favors, no. and, and obviously Riot has gone about it a different way with League of Legends, and and yeah. I don't think that's okay. necessarily the right way. I just want more leadership from Valve on it. Agreed. Not disagreed. Yes. Not disagreed. <laughs> um, also. Guys, Frost of Us was canceled. Frost of Us was canceled last year too, wasn't it? Yeah, but but we did confirm New Bloom will be happening again. Yeah, well, the Frost year of the Ram. Frost of Us was canceled by uh, Skeleton King slash Wraith King, right? Last year, we, it was Correct? replaced with Wraith Knight. Yes. Yeah. Um, Are we upset about no Frost of Us? Are we upset about no Winter event? I'm just upset they haven't fixed the hats yet. The only <laughs> hat I got was from the stupid PA event. Which was a pretty sweet set. It was a great, yeah, yeah. It was a great set. You'll never, you'll never use that though. Probably not. Yeah. I think I'm just mostly frustrated that those events tended to bring about ways to get hats. Yeah. I actually think the events themselves are totally boring. They kind of are. I, Wraith Knight was awful to I, play. I grinded out you hours. Loved, you played of it Wraith so Knight. much. Yeah. I thought it was the most boring yeah, that was a thing. Sink. That and was I a... and I can't even tell you what I got out of it. Just I just want them. <laughs> Just, Misery. Why don't yeah. they just do a, you know, quadruple or whatever it takes, quadruple the drop rate for a week and call that Frost of Us or something. I mean, totally, yeah. Just do something like that, or and you, make the match. Get a hat snowy. every game. Yeah, get a hat every game like it used to be. We're yeah. giving. Away, they just. I hope they do something like that. They probably won't. But yeah, I think I that's what I miss about the holiday. I thought the game mode was kind of yeah. lame. But the whole the whole reason behind it was because they're, and they've already dropped. Drop the info on this is they're working on porting the game over to the Source Two engine, right? Half-Life right, 3 which confirmed. means unfortunately, which means Half Life Three confirmed, right, Jerry? Right, right. <laughs> exactly. I think my concern with that is, does that mean we're going to have even more? Because it's going to be easier for them to do custom game modes, right? Yeah. So I, I worry that that's going to bring about even more custom game modes. But it does allow them to do better custom game modes, and I think it'll also allow you to choose if you're playing a custom game mode. It will. <laughs> It will, it will. But it unlike could... the PA event where you, <laughs> right. you kind of had to go out of your way to choose. Well, I guess like, we'll to play hope, a we'll hope that it does. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't yeah. change the main mode every time. So, God. Um, but yeah, it's it's fine. It is what it is. I could care less about Frost of us to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice to have more hats. Yeah, and they did com- confirm that uh, the new Bloom Festival is coming back. Absolutely. So. 
prepared to be shocked and uh, scared when you log into the game for the first time and a match starts and there's really fireworks they go do, off. I really hope they do the map similar to what they did last oh, time. Oh, I love that map. That yeah. map was really nice. It was nice. so cool. And I loved like all the The way all the, the towers they looked. Yeah, and all the like oh, items yeah. and stuff oh, that yeah. came out for the new Bloom Festival. So cool. Mm -hmm. I've got that sweet uh Lichen Shapeshift. Like yeah, the Lichen Shapeshift that I don't think I've used yet. That's fair. We'll have to use that. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. But that's exciting. Totally. I, yeah. I think I thought the the hats were kind of neat that they had for the festival. So mm -hmm. they're all pretty much user submissions now, right? Is it? Yeah, they did like kind of so. a call to arms for mm -hmm. the for the festival. It's confirmed to be the year of the Ram. I yes. believe. So. Yeah, the yes, it is the what year was of the Ram. Last year was a bull or something, right? No, dragon, I believe. No, oh. dragon? Was it dragon? It's the ferret. Ferret? <laughs> it was not the year of the ferret. <laughs> it might have been dragon. Yeah. So get ready for horns on everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Year of Puck is, is Puck. Yeah, it's Puck for sure. Yeah. Um, Seems legit. So the last thing that we have on our, on here is uh, the Steam stream. Yeah, so Steam is allowing yeah. essentially their version of Twitch to come out. So what do you guys think about that? Ben is excited about this. and I, I, can't, no, I, didn't, I, can't I never said I was why. excited. I wanted to talk about it. I okay. didn't say I was excited about it. I hope they call it Steam stream. I do too. Steam I was excited stream. about the name. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's more intended. Well, basically, the way it's going to work is you can, from what I understand, is you can check to enable streaming whenever you're playing a game. Oh. And the way that it works is you right click on your friend's name on your thing. And you can just watch him play. That's kind of neat. Which is actually kind of cool. It's. I think it's similar to what a lot of the consoles are already doing. Yeah. So they're kind of catching up with that, and I think okay. with them wanting to do a platform, it makes sense. I think. I mean, I did not know that they were looking to do a platform. Well, Steam is a platform. And right. They are doing a Steam box. You don't. Do you know? I about didn't. The Steam I didn't box? know about the Steam. Yeah, box. I think they're actually already out there. So oh, they really? have a, essentially it's small computers with the Steam operating system on yeah. them. Yeah. That you can hook up to your TV and oh. have essentially a interesting pseudo console. Yeah. So interesting. They've talked about it for years. The technology's been out for a while. I think there, there's some third parties that have launched. Yeah. So I don't think it's been huge. I think people uh, were had worried. No idea it was yeah, a thing. exactly. So I think people were thinking it might kill consoles. I don't think it's been doing that. So no. And I think Twitch Twitch seems to have. I, I don't want to use the term monopoly necessarily, but Twitch seems to be the go to for esports viewing. Right? Am I am I wrong on they're this? Very, I, mean, I think they're there's pretty, some other options, but they're not too great. Well, they're like not Hitbox. Great, yeah. People watch through the game clients. They yeah. do. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily meant to be. A quote unquote Twitch killer or anything like that. I think I don't think so either. I think it's meant for like, oh, uh, Ben's doing some wackiness in Grand Theft Auto with cheeks. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and watch what they're doing. Yeah, you know that kind of stuff. I mm -hmm. think I would have preferred just to have built in Twitch integration. Maybe that's on its way. Yeah, but yeah, that would be nice. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, it would make sense, but uh, again, there would have to be some sort of agreement there, especially since Twitch monopolizes. I, I think it would be easier than you think, though, and I think it may actually come because the PlayStation and the Xbox have both done that, and they also hmm. have their own ways of doing other videos. It's just a partnership with a third party, and yeah, I, I well, think that's probably true. I think that they'll do it. It would be it would just be taking away from the cumbersome of using OBS or those other programs that you have to use to get the the content. Right on Which there. Nvidia little, has it built a into janky. some of their graphics cards too. Yeah, mm. so I think that integration into Steam could definitely happen. I don't right. see no why idea. not. Yeah. All right, boys, what do we have next? Uh, we have Hero of the Week. Oh, okay. Hero of the Week. So the Hero of the Week this week is Tinker. 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 Weird. And I honestly don't know much about Tinker at all. So, I, I don't think I've ever played a match as Tinker. So I'm really? relying on you guys a little bit. Really? Okay. To tell I, me I've about played Tinker. Some, I've played, I've played Tinker. against Tinker a lot, and I know, here's what I know about Tinker. He moves around the map a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's got those little army guys that shoot out and machines. The machines. Yeah. Sure. The he's got the, the, the march of machines, and he has uh -huh. like a laser. That's exactly and the laser, right. The laser hurts a lot. Yeah. That's a, that's he about... also has some rockets. <laughs> and I always, I, I didn't even know he had rockets because those apparently are not his best ability. Uh, they're heat-seeking missiles. Is that what they are? Yes. I probably mm -hmm. thought those were coming from a clockwork that yeah. wasn't even in the game. So <laughs> that's fair. So okay. that being said, so tell me, tell me, what's the role? <laughs> What's the role that Tinker plays? To be a pest. He's a pest, but <laughs> does he fit into... Let's go through the one through five, one being yeah. a carry, five being a support. Where mm -hmm. does he fit best, or in what ways does he fit? Yeah. He's a dude that needs a lot of farm. A yeah. lot of farm. Uh -huh. 
So you're going to probably be monopolizing a lot of his farm because he's going to take up a lot of farm. So is he a one? He's not a one, is he? He can be. Okay. Okay. So you'd, you'd run him as a main carry. I think he's viable or mid. as a one, two, or three. Okay. Yeah. So he's I, definitely I a farming you've, hero. You've, you've, been, you've been pushing this offlane tinker on me. Eh, I, yeah. And I don't not, know how I feel I'm not necessarily about it. pushing it, but I think it can work. Yeah. I think it, it beats viable as a support um, juggernaut. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which you were pro for. A well, while. it's because That's Tinker fair. Tinker has several I'm still items a pro for that. that he needs. Yes. And depend on, depending on how much farm he gets or how much farm you give him, you kind of build him or do different things with him. Yeah. Well, tell me, what's, what's he do? Like, what is it? Why would somebody pick a Tinker? Well, generally you pick Tinker because. Um, you build boots of travel on him, so he can pretty quick go anywhere over the map, and you use that in conjunction with his ultimate rearm, which is basically a free refresher orb. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're moving all around the map, and usually split pushing or farming, or you know doing something along those lines. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? This is how little I knew about Tinker. I actually felt like he probably had an ability that allowed him to teleport. Mm. Okay, that's, that's right. how little I knew about him. So yeah. Yeah. the boots of travel, people like that just because of rearm. Then is that right. why exactly? That? So you you basically the idea here is that you boots of travel to a lane, you throw down a couple march machines, whatever, you rearm, you teleport back to the fountain, get more mana, rearm again, do it again, and just continually. Right, makes sense. You just kind of cycle it through. So this guy sounds really, and he is really annoying to play against. Yeah. Because I've done that many times. What lane do you guys want to run him in? I think, any, yeah, any lane. I think, <laughs> I think he's most successful in mid. I would agree. Yeah. Um, for sure. Okay. I think that he's most successful there. Okay. Great. Yeah, he's also viable. In, you I know, think like, he's viable in any of the side lanes. Yeah, I would think, you ever safe lane carry him? Yeah, is, is his right click. Cloud Nine did that for a while on Eternal Envy. Okay. Yeah, they really like. He's it. not necessarily one of those heroes though that get like his right click never becomes like super out of control. But here's the thing: with his rearm, you also can like build items like a Dagon. Yeah. And rearm that. Okay. Well, let's talk <laughs> about those abilities then. Yeah, so okay. let's start with his first ability, Brian. What does that look like? Okay, his first abil- ability is... Ab- ability. ability. Yeah. His first ability is called Laser. It's his Q. Fires an intense energy de- energy beam, <laughs> dealing damage and blinding the target for energy. three seconds, causing it to miss all physical attacks. And this is pure damage, which is really nice. So the cast range on this is 550. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. damage is 80, 160, 240, and 320. And it's a 100% mischance for three seconds. Wow. That thing okay. is so great. Yeah. That, that mischance is unreal. Yeah, that's insane. So, yeah, I don't, I mean, that is what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a nuke with a blind, basically. Yeah. I mean, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I, th- it's, I think it's what... great to be, to use when you're laning. Yeah. Um, basically, just use it right before they try to last hit. Sure. It's great. What, what was yeah. the mana cost on there again? Uh, the mana cost is 95, 120, 145, and 170. And is it always three seconds? Always three seconds. That's great. Yeah. So even just a value point. Yeah, value this points is, for is sure. really good. It's really good if you can use this, like if you d- decide you want to start ganking with Tinker. Um, mm-hmm. This is really good to cast this right off at the bat. You know, use this first. and Or even in like a team fight, you know, use it on the carry or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. that's yeah. You're basically taking him out of the game for three seconds. That's a huge Essentially. Ability. That's a... It's a it's a disarm. I'm yeah. glad that I know that exists now because I had no idea. Yeah, that so you, you could get do hit that with, that, with the blue laser. That's what it's doing, huh? Yeah, it's it disarming goes, you for it goes, three seconds. Pew. It makes it really. I actually don't really like the sound. Yeah. It could be more lasery. It could be more lasery. That's, maybe they'll sure. fix it. What else does he have? Uh, his W is called Heat Seeking Missile. Heat Seeking Missile. Which should be called Heat Seeking Missiles. Yeah, because there are two of them. There oh, are there's two multiple. Of them. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Launches a pair of rockets. Unless you have eggs, and there's four. We'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah, I was wondering if, if he had an eggs <laughs> modifier somewhere. Okay. Launches a pair of rockets at the nearest visible enemy heroes within 2,500 range. Wow. Yeah, it's a, a pretty big range. That's pretty wild. Yeah. So, but you have to have vision of them. Yes. So the search radius is 2,500. Number of targets is two. Two. Uh, damage per rocket is one, 100, 175, 250, or 325. So These another are, nuke. Yeah. Decent. 
That's really is that good. per rocket? You said that's, that's per rocket. Per rocket. Okay. But and each is it, rocket it, can only hit one hero. Is it a unit target, or you pick a, a area to cast it? it? You just cast it, and it goes to the nearest. To the nearest. Okay, perfect. Right. Um, let's so see. So it's non-target. So wait, what's this mm-hmm. about? About so you can't have both missiles hit one, hit one person. Correct. Okay. So okay. If, even if there's one person there, even if there's it? just one, okay. then just one of them hit. I'm fairly confident that's the way it works. Yeah. So I guess we should talk about Ags. Ags works a little bit differently on Tinker. Yeah. It, what does it do? It upgrades his basic abilities instead of his ultimate. Oh. Okay. Does his ultimate get upgraded? No, it doesn't. Let's talk about his last basic and then talk about Ags then. Okay. Yeah, that's a Deal. good idea. All right. So March of the Machines is his last basic ability. It's co- it's his E. Uh, this is magic damage, as is heat March sickness. March of the Machines missile. as well. March of the Machines yes. enlists because an army like of robotic magic. minions to destroy <laughs> enemy units in an area around Tinker. Cast range is 300. Robot spawn radius is 900. Robot collision radius, blah, blah, blah. Some other things. Uh, robot explosion damage. Here we go. 16, 24, 32, and 40. Mm-hmm. Spawn duration is 6 seconds. Uh, the mana cost scales... From 145 at level 1 to 150, 165, and 190. Cooldown is 35 seconds. So when you level this thing up, all you're leveling up is the damage, essentially. You're getting more damage. How is the damage applied? Is it each robot that hits somebody? Is it yes. staying in That's it? That's correct. Each actual robot that each hits Each robot somebody? that hits you. Okay. The robots move at a speed of 400 and move a distance up to 900 forwards. So this is kind of what... This is. I feel like this is one of the abilities you pick Tinker for as well. This I would is, think so. Yeah. yeah. This is what lets him split push. You know, if you kind of pick Tinker and you want to maybe run him like a Nature's Prophet. You know, where you're mm-hmm. teleporting all over the place and split pushing and keeping the lanes constantly pushed out. This is the the ability that you it use seems that like way. that's the only way I've ever seen anybody run him. Which is why I thought that was just an ability he had. Yeah. Was his, his ultimate was to go across the map yeah. or something? Because it kind of they, is. They seem like that's how people run the hero for sure, yeah. which is interesting. Well, it doesn't make any sense to do anything else, honestly, yeah. on him. Yeah. I, have Has anybody run him as, again, I am totally ignorant on Tinker, as a support that just has a little bit of push potential and has that ability to take out a carry for three seconds? Is that something people have looked at doing? Maybe as mm. kind of the off laner that I've talked about, but that that's so situational because you have to make sure you have a lane where you can get farm. Well, and there's no stun, I guess. That's probably the big right. minus there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's tough because for him to and be this, effective in the game, even, he has to have boots of travel. Yeah. And, I mean, Tinker's a hero that does a lot with farm. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, he any item that you build that has an active. Oh, hold on. So not, so not having that farm is a detriment, right. basically. Yeah. It, I mean, I it's going to give you, it like give you the... two of them. Like, you build a Scythe of yeah. you get two of them. Well, I, right. I see what you're saying. It sounds like there's probably not enough there to really support Tinker as a support, basically. Right. Those abilities yeah. are only good if you're if you're using them to their full potential. So I, I would right. agree that he's just not used to his full potential. Okay. Yeah. What what is uh, what's what's Ags do for him now? We're going to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So Ag Scepter, you buy it on him, and as I said earlier, it upgrades his basic abilities and not his ultimate. So with the laser, it doubles the casting range. That's kind of nice. With heat seeking missile, it doubles the number of rockets launched. So it's four rockets. So in a team fight, you're going to hit four heroes. Hit most of the heroes on the other yeah. team. So I mean, it's something though. Three hundred and yeah. some damage. Three hundred twenty-five right? damage. That's pretty good. Well, reduced by magical resistance. Yeah. Blah blah blah. blah. But yeah, it's okay. And yeah. it's still good. Actually, it doesn't look like the Ag Scepter does anything for March of the Machines. So, so you Ag- get two more rockets basically, and a longer cast range on laser. Yeah. So Ags is kind of okay. It's not great on him. At least not from what you guys are telling me in terms of how he's normally played. Yeah. You, you really want items and things that have actives. Um, okay. That's why he had a lot of indir- indirect nerfs recently. Mm-hmm. Um, and by that, I mean like... With the way the items were re- recosted and re- repriced and everything. Yeah. yeah and like um, the Ancients no longer being affected by Magical. Or right. Being... Basically, he used to be able to farm Ancients really well. Right. Not any, not any longer. Okay. Um, yeah, that used to be like sometimes you would just pick Tinker and just have him stack and farm Ancients. Yeah, and that was and it. that's all that was he his did. thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting to see that how that's changed a little bit. What's the ultimate look like, Brian? What's the last ability? 
Yeah. Uh, so his ultimate is called Rearm. And let me pull it up here. Resets the cooldown on most of Tinker's items and abilities. At level 1, the channel time is 3 seconds. At level 2, it's 2 seconds. And at level 3, it's 1 second. Yeah, it's pretty and much it. And the, yeah, the mana cost scales dramatically okay. when you level this thing up. At level 1, it's 150, and then 250, and then 350. Mm. But here's the thing. Mana's really <laughs> not a huge issue for this guy. Well, not if you have Boots of Travel, right? You can go get more mana. It, right. It can be in the early game. If you're start it like if you're hurting for farm, it can be really rough. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean once he once you start building items, because a common item that he builds is a scythe of ice. Yeah. Which is gonna give you your mana pool a is lot, gonna be yeah. huge. Yeah. Well, let's talk about items a little bit. So we obviously the boots of travel. That sounds like that is the go to everybody who plays Tinker needs to get boots of travel. If you don't, I think you're playing the hero wrong. Okay. So what do you do for early game? Uh, early game Brian, I really like regen. Um, I really, really like bottle mm-hmm. on Tinker. Okay. Solely, I mean, it's nice to be able to get the runes and all that, and to stay out, you know, stay out, uh, mm-hmm. out of the well and everything longer. But it's really nice for when you teleport back to the well. You have the, your bottle. You can pretty much double how fast you regen your mana because when you do rearm in the well. It takes you like another like three to four seconds of just standing there to regen all your mana back. So right. it kind of helps you to get back out there quicker when you're in the well. Mm-hmm. Another good option is a soul ring. Love soul ring on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's especially now since it builds into bloodstone. Yeah, exactly. Because a bloodstone makes so much sense on him. Does he get a decent health pool overall? Not or does great. It just not not matter necessarily. He he moves around quickly enough. Okay. To where. He's unless you have yeah. lockdown, he's a pretty hard hero too. Yeah, and a lot of times people will buy blink dagger on him, mm-hmm. so that can be really helpful. I know a lot yeah. of people will like boots of travel into a lane and then immediately blink into the trees yeah. and use shift march of the it. machines. Yeah. You shift Q, your blink as soon as you come in. Okay, into so that a... that kind of helps you to stay alive more and just be a pain in the butt for sure. Makes sense because you can launch your missiles from the trees. Exactly. That's a pain in the butt. You could do you some can decent do damage there. Machines, yeah. Yeah. Sure. From the trees. At the very least, you're being a pain in the butt, which yeah, is right. what I've noticed Tinker is. So Exactly. Total butt pain. And you would be correct. What other kind of later game, mid game items do you like to see on Tinker? You can buy almost anything. Well, um, I wouldn't go that far. You build a lot of utility items on him. Mm-hmm. You so, see, yeah, go ahead, Jared. You see, uh, um, Scythe of Ice is one thing that I've said a couple times. Yeah. But yeah that's because you use it. Rearm, rearm and you can use it again yeah it's crazy that's great yeah and then um an ethereal blade an e-blade yeah. is pretty common also yeah because you start to really stack a lot of intelligence on mm-hmm. him exactly and another huge one is a dagon okay yeah just really maximizing that burst damage um and i mean it's it's an item that you can you know cost what almost six thousand gold when it's leveled up completely mm-hmm. so i mean it's something that you can really level up and go okay great i also like shiva's yes uh, shiva's is great on him too blink dagger like we talked about bkb if you need it if you're going a little more team fight oriented uh do people build necro book on him i could see that for the push based on what you guys are describing yeah i was just thinking i mean it's it would be nice for you know if you have a creep wave that's pushed you know you have a couple creep waves cleared and your groups are pushing into does rearm it does not. Okay, I didn't think it did. Oh, if you could get more? Because yeah. you could just get, like, eight Necro Creeps. Oh, that would Wouldn't be that great. be great? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Okay, so it, it does not. That'd be OP. No, Rearm does not refresh Necro Book. <laughs> does, it, does it refresh BKB? Oh, that's a good question. Because let's, we, let's we know here. Refresher Orb does now. Okay, the following items can never be rearmed. Okay. okay. Arcane Boots. All right. BKB. All right. Bottle. Hand of Midas. Oh, yeah. Helm of the oh, Dominator. That makes sense. Lincoln Sphere, Necrobook, and Refresher Orb. Interesting. Refresher <laughs> Orb. Wouldn't that be great? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. That is interesting. I can see. Yeah. Can rearm Crimson Guard, Mech, and Pipe of Insight. Okay. That's kind of neat. That's, but, that is very neat. But won't reset their timer, which prevents them from affecting the same units for right. a while. Right. Oh, okay. Right. That can rearm sense. Manta Style, but recasting it will replace previous illusions. Right. Can rearm a disabled Blink Dagger and Heart of Tarask and the cooldown on Skullbasher. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Well, and the, facts. and the big one you said earlier was the uh, with the Scythe of Ice, right? Yeah. Okay. 
The Scythe of Vice. Well, what is it called? Scythe of Vice? Scythe. Scythe. Scythe of Vice. The Skype, or X. The Skype of Vice. Skype of Vice. The um, Skype of Ice. Skype of Ice. <laughs> um, Jeez. Welcome to We Like Dota. So, recommend, don't recommend. What do you guys think? Uh, I recommend. I think he's fun to play. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jared. I do not recommend him currently. Wow, though. do not recommend. I don't I don't think that he's that strong of a hero currently. I'm going to say recommend at our skill level just because it changes so much how people have to play. Okay, I don't that's know fair. if people know how to cope with that. I know that's I fair. probably don't always know how to cope with it. So. Yeah, he's definitely difficult at times. I think people are so down on him right now because of the ancients changes. Right. And those did hurt him a lot. Yeah. But he needed he needed that. Oh, like God, he's yes. he's balanced now. There you go. You can still go into the jungle with marching machines and, and farm three camps at once on the radiant side. Yeah. With marching machines. It's pretty impressive. That's crazy. Yeah. All um, right. No, that's so true. That's, that's true. That's Tinker. So two ups and a down. So and no uh <laughs> nothing from Brian on the uh we have no sounds, huh? No, I don't have it queued up. So. Oh, you're all bummed out about it. Yeah, this is probably the le- the best episode. Probably because of that. <laughs> For yeah. uh, exactly, this is Last Talent's favorite episode. It is no none <laughs> of those sound bumpers. <laughs> yeah. All right, item Jeez. of the week is going to be conveniently boots of travel. Booties so, of travel. So Brian, give me the specifics <laughs> on the booties of travel. Yes, boots of travel. They cost uh, two thousand gold, two thousand <laughs> U.S. dollars, <laughs> uh, two thousand euro. Hold on, let me click on the link. But yeah, you buy these and it allows you to teleport to um, basically to any building or creep under your control. You can't teleport to a hero, but if that hero summons creeps, you can teleport to it. Right. So you can teleport to like the Astral Spirit of Elder Titan, the Warlock Golem, any necro units. You can to the Spirit of Titan? Yes. Really? Interesting. You can also do like the Beastmaster summons. Okay. Anything that has summons, you can TP. You can Interesting. booty you travel to. Booty okay. you travel to. Yeah. So, of course, this is a core item on our friend Tinker. Mm-hmm. It gives you plus 100 movement speed. Lots of um, move speed. It has the teleport ability like we talked about. And what's really nice is it's uh, 15 seconds less than a TP scroll, the cooldown on that. Oh, really? It's oh, I didn't know 50 that. seconds for a cooldown on Boots of Travel for a TP, right? right. Uh, it is also on Boots of Travel, 50 seconds. No, but yeah, it's 65 seconds on a TP scroll. Uh, is if it it's still? Fi- if it's 50 it seconds point. on a TP... Okay, teleport is 50 seconds on Boots of Travel. Yeah, it's 65 on a TP scroll. Um, no, you don't have see. to look it up, it is. I'm looking it up. That's fine. Okay, you're right, it's 65 seconds. Yeah. Perfect, Okay. So it costs two thousand four hundred fifty uh, dollars total. Okay. So boots of travel. So you, we obviously tinker. It's like you got to get it on tinker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are there other heroes that this is a must go to item? Because it tends to be in my experience, boots of travel is like what you buy when you have way too much gold at the end of the game, <laughs> right? Though that's I mean, hundred percent that, that true. To be when you do yeah, it, that's hundred. Are there true. other heroes yeah. that's like, man, this is really good on that particular hero? Um, or is this like a wasted item? So, no, no, it's not. No. A wasted I don't think it's item. ever a wasted item. Okay. The first opinion. one, it, no, I agree with you, Jared. The, the first one that came to mind for me was Lycan. Okay. Because you can just boots mm. travel a lane, summon your wolves, push them out. Okay. And then, you yeah. Know, go anybody to that's going to be a split pusher. Yeah. I think it's pretty pretty great on. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think there's anyone else I would consider it a must have though. Outside, probably, probably just outside tinker. of Tinker. Yeah, I would think just Tinker. I mean, anybody else that you're going to be doing the same kind of split push deal. Yeah. I mean, so like a Morphling, you could argue the same thing. Yeah. And I think it's just the cost is so high, right? So it's a deterrent to, to buy those for that reason sometimes, especially like on a right, Lycan but, or a Morphling. Or... Right. But the thing is, again, you're going to want to have a TP scroll at all times. You know, that's what we've always told and talked about. This replaces it. This is a lot of TP scrolls. <laughs> it's 20. It, it's a lot. It's yeah. 20. It's a lot of TP scrolls. But it's also going to give you, you know, fifty more move speed compared to like treads. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's nothing the move, to sneeze the at. Move speed is nice. I think it, I, it's a nice item. It's just really expensive it's for a very reason expensive. because yeah. it's it's a luxury item. As it item. should be. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good it's really good. Like I think of like tiny, like late game tiny. Mm-hmm. You know, because yeah. you can you can backdoor with this so easily. Oh, it's it's a late game great boots for everybody, right? Yeah, really. Yeah, I mean. no, yeah, late game. It's on everyone. Yeah, for sure. 
Well, good deal. I don't. Do we don't. We don't usually recommend or not recommend items, do we? I guess we can. What do you think, Brian? Yes, it's fine. Buy it. <laughs> yeah. Don't buy it as your first item, please, for the love of God. Unless you're don't buy it because you don't want to pay for TP scrolls for the whole game. I'm gonna not recommend because it's too expensive. So <laughs> I'm not gonna recommend it. How about you, Jared? Um, situationally. Okay. <laughs> All okay. right, that's the Cap item out. and the hero of the week. I'm, Perfect. I'm done with I'm, that. Thanks, thanks for leading the discussion on that, Ben. Yeah. You did a great job. All right, what thanks. do you have for his next, Jared? Oh, I didn't know I was up next. Yeah, I, I thought Cheeks not... was up next. I believe this is the time we bring in executive producer <laughs> Cheeks of Flappin'. So Perfect. Thanks here, for bringing that in, bro. Here's yeah. this. Good job, Jared. Yeah. Thanks. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. That stopped playing, and I don't know why. Do we have cheeks? Yes, I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. Hold on. Hold on. No, I mean, I don't hear the whole thing. God. This is terrible. Hey, cheeks. Hey, cheeks. There we go. Hi, cheeks. <laughs> Hello. Do you want to play it again? I don't know if we got the whole thing. No. You might have cut it off a little early. I can play I it again if good. you want that. I no, I don't. I don't want that. <laughs> So, Cheeks, something incredible happened during the middle of the show. You sent us a text message that said you're going to a coffee shop. Yes, I'm currently at a <laughs> coffee shop. Are you really? Trying to speak in a common conversational tone, because yeah. I know my wife says that sometimes I get a little loud when I'm talking on the podcast. So, <laughs> I hope I'm coming through. What are you drinking? Uh, I'm having water, but I did have a raspberry chocolate scone. Oh, that sounds yeah. really solid. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It was actually pretty good. It was nice and dry like scones should be, mm. but not too dry. Okay. Mm. Okay. See, I prefer so, American yes. scones that are and a little bit And currently, the, the internet yeah. seems to be working moist. much better here than it does at my house, which is very yeah, disappointing. Yeah, that is yeah, disappointing. That is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, during the chatting today, I set up a game to see who would win this copy of Dead Space. Yeah, yeah. And the game was uh, Dota 2 Anagrams. Oh, so yeah. So we, we got some interesting Dota 2 Anagrams uh, going here. Let me see if I can scroll through the chat. I lost a lot of them. I like that you made a game see. out of this because you strike me as a guy who it's not just enough to just give something out, which I agree with. Totally. Oh, no, no, you no. Gotta have you got to you earn it. Yeah. So so let me tell you some of the anagrams we got here. So it's Dota 2 anagrams. They so have to take something from Dota 2, turn it into something that somehow relates to something. And so we've got a uh, first up here we've got a uh, Geppetto file. Wait. Coffee shop. Geppetto file. Come on. <laughs> anyway, Jeez. he took he took sheep stick and changed it to cheeks spit. So I appreciate okay. that. Okay. I like that okay. one. Personal, that's fine. On a personal level, that's that's very nice. Uh, let's see. We've got. Uh, he also took boots of travel and turned it into barefoot volts. <laughs> okay. Which, yeah, sure. Why not? It's a stretch. I, I like the first one better so far. But... Yeah, it's a little stretch. I like uh, Last time he came up with uh, Aghanim Scepter, he put a sphincter's game. Oh. Uh... Or a game sphincter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch. Hopefully but not. But the winner, the winner here today. Yeah. For, of the first game is our good friend Neil with the silent G. Oh, hey, Janiel. He took Tinkerer and changed it into Reckon Tier, as in he's Reckon your your tier towers. Okay. Okay. Well, so here's. I thought that was. In, in, that was in celebration of Neil winning, here's a here's a sound here's a sound. I file. got time for that. <laughs> I got. Oh, congratulations, Neil. We're happy you won. God. That was, that was a reward, huh? Today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Neil won a copy of Dead Space. Congratulations, Neil. Yes, Neil. I, I'm going to send that to you. Uh, I guess I'll just do it through Steam since I think we're Steam buddies. Mm -hmm. But if we're not, just be sure to friend me, uh, Cheeks of Flappin' on Steam. But I think we are. So. I think he can at sea doing uh, yeah, Neil's. Oh totally yeah, I forgot Neil out left at sea. for a while, right? That would be a very that would be a very good game to play while you're out at sea and it's yeah. and it's like Gary. Good for so. Neil. So, uh, so yeah, other than that, in the, in the chat, there was some discussion about, you know, builds on Tinker and stuff, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think I missed most of it. I came in at the end of it, but Last Town was pretty much uh, throwing ideas around with, uh, let's see, with who was he talking most with? I think he was talking most with Neil about about what was good to get on Tinker, and uh, Last Town put together his uh, build, which he has on the Steam community site. He put a link in the chat, but I'm sure he'll put something up on 
Yes, you can too, you so. can now subscribe to uh, Last Talon's official We Like Dota Hero builds in the game. Oh wow. So it's there's true. that. That's a thing. And Last Talon really knows really knows what he's talking about. He really yeah. knows the game. Much more than I, I want do. to I want to apologize again to Last Talon for I played a community match with him the other night and I was laning with him and it was not going well in terms of lag and stuff and we ah, kind of yes. let an ember spirit get out of control so apologies last talent I'm you should have just gone to the coffee feeling. shop everyone plays competitive dota 2 in coffee shops i've seen it before it's i weird. really should have yeah, yeah. I, pro I might it's just that bad but anyway uh let's see if we can get in some noobs ass noobs here do you All have right. a, bump, oh. a new oh, bumper that would be that? great uh, a no there's never been a bumper no. for noobs okay. ass noobs <laughs> Yeah. I'll I'll work on one. I'll refrain from doing my vocal one since I'm at a coffee shop here. <laughs> noobs ask you. Like I'll refrain <laughs> from saying <laughs> refrain from <laughs> saying <laughs> too loudly. All right, so here we go. Noobs ask noobs. Let's see. Our first question is from Diddy Mitch, uh, a good friend of the show, Diddy Mitch, good Delta Diddy Gamer Mitch. podcast host. He asks. He says, "I have a question. What is your guys' longest win streak slash lose streak?" He oh. says his is currently 11, but he didn't say which one, which <laughs> it was a winning or a losing streak. So I'm going to guess it's a losing streak. <laughs> I think because I, he did not mention it. That's fair. I yeah. think I've had the longest losing streak. Do you guys remember what it was? Ben had, you, you were was up like, to like 15. I think it was I like lost 14 or 15 14 in a row. 14 or 15 in a row, which That's is really bad. Rough. Most of the games were with these guys, too. Yeah, we had a, we had a stretch where it was, yeah. everything was terrible. It was really bad for a while. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a winning streak beyond like three, you can three find or four that games. Out on Dota Buff. You want me yeah. to look on there? For I think you? I, I think there. Brian I think, is I think currently. Yeah. I think actually it tells you the longest and uh, longest okay. winning streak and. Okay, here we go. I'll look it up for okay. all of us. Okay, okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, my longest winning streak is six. Good job. Okay. Okay. Well done. Nice work. My longest losing streak is nine. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. That's not too shabby. Hold on, entertain the masses. Entertain the masses. Okay. Well, so yeah. So I feel pretty <laughs> good about Brian's losing streak. I think nine is pretty it's good. It's funny. I might have exaggerated it... mine. I didn't know we were going to go to real stats. Okay, for Ben. <laughs> I did. Longest did, winning yeah. streak is seven. Got you by one. Longest losing streak <laughs> is nine. Probably all games I played with you and you lost your nine. So you you literally <laughs> almost doubled your losing streak there. I did. Yeah. I think I had a bad streak where I won one game out of fifteen. You probably was, played. Yeah, that is probably. You probably played. Yeah, you probably played about nine games with me. I probably did. Yeah. Yeah, you guys probably played nine games in a row and lost all of them. Probably. All right. How about Jared? <laughs> what do we have for Jared here? Okay, Jared. Here we go. Here we go. Longest winning wow. streak is five. Five. Longest losing streak is four. That's you're right. The, Very consistent. consistent player. Oh, Very consistent. That's not too bad. And then do All we right. have uh, Cheeks on there, too? Uh, well, I haven't played games with Cheeks lately. Let's well, see here. Well, oh, here, I'll tell you. Here my got, my longest it. winning was seven, and my longest losing was eight. Wow. Okay. That's not too bad. So yeah. we're all so kind of on the same level. Let's look Except at, for Jared. Let's look at a uh, friend of the show, Kyle Crimson Mannerings here. <laughs> just for. I bet he's fine. Look at that. Eight. Okay, longest winning streak is eight. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Longest losing streak is also eight. Not bad. There we go. Okay, so he's even Steven. He's even Steven. It's a good question. There we go. I like that question. That's a I, good question. I, I lose a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do the, the losing streaks always feel like the longer ones anyway. Oh, right? oh yeah. I mean, even yeah. though... What's my win I mean, rate now, Brian? 43%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm curious what my win rate is 48%. Darn right it is. The funny Look thing is you. my MMR is substantially higher than yours. <laughs> That's Okay, true. how are we qualifying substantial here, Ben? <laughs> well, it was like it's 500 like... points until I played a bunch of games with you guys and yeah. lost them all. Yeah. So that's a pretty big jump. That's your fault. You should have but played that's better. that's like 20%. That's a huge. That's a yeah. No, I mean that's large like a percentage. Fish. So. I would consider substantial to be like Ben's at 4K MMR, 20 and I'm at 20 percent. 20 percent is a huge jump. But if you man. just think of like you've been playing looking the game numbers, longer, you're looking at yeah. the percentage, and you've been playing the game longer than I have. Yeah, that's sure. a good point. But you have played so many freaking more I've games. I played more games. Yeah. yeah, come on. Anyways, what's what other questions do you have, Cheeks? We're we're sorry we're bringing you down a couple notches, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is good for your I, life. I would be pro. No, I would not be pro. <laughs> All right, what else do you got for us, Cheeks? Okay, second question comes from, uh, let's see, Chekhov's New. Friend of the show, Chekhov's New asks, this is another uh, stats question. 
what hero do you have the highest win rate on oh. and uh, that you think is a fair representation of your skill on that hero? Oh, okay. So it's a sort of it's a, a multi layer. It's like an onion. I'm yeah. glad you have the stats up. My gosh. So for me, it's either uh, Marana. I have 27 matches played on Marana with a 66% win rate. That's pretty good. On Silencer, I have 16 matches played in a 62% win rate. That's okay. not bad, That's man. good. That's not bad at all. Uh, looking at Ben... I lose most of my games. Ben has 15 matches played on Viper with a stunning 80% win rate. <laughs> That's pretty high, wow. actually. That's yeah. pretty good. It's pretty That's easy really to win good. on Viper, though. Like, it is. Yeah, yeah your Viper is... It's good, though. I mean... I tell you, Viper is OP in the lower brackets oh, because yeah, it's, it's great, all yeah. dual lanes, and he yeah, just dominates. dominates. He does, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else is your next highest? Let's see here. You've played... It's looking pretty rough here, Ben. You've oh, got yeah. 17 <laughs> matches played on Warlock with a 58% win rate. Yeah, but when was the last time you ages, played Warlock? Yeah, ages. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll just move on. Yeah, here. it's not pretty sight. <laughs> okay, Jared has... Yeah, what do, what do I got here? Well, you don't have a, uh, lot, not of a lot of lot yeah. Not a lot of matches played. <laughs> well, how many matches have I actually played on Dota buff? Like... It's like 105. 70, you're currently 76 and 83. So 150. Okay. Oh, that's actually okay. pretty good. Yeah. So you have a 60% win rate with 15 matches played on Tiny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, your Bane's pretty good. 11 matches played, 63% win rate. That's not bad. I feel, I feel good about Bane. On Centaur, you have six matches played, 83% win rate. Good. I feel like I'm really good on him. Like, I think that's a pretty accurate you report. Oh, yeah. You need to play him more often. Yeah, though. I would agree. Jared, you have five matches played on Spirit Breaker with an 80% win rate. All right. Because we've done that Spirit Breaker Lifestealer combo like that four times. That thing's so great. It's fun. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Cheeks? Well, let's see. For me, it looks like it's a Triumph Protector. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see. So my, I have 24 matches on him with a win rate of 58%. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. And Not then, bad. Or maybe it's Pugna too, which I have twenty six matches on with a fifty seven percent win rate. So yeah, it's a good sample size. It's much better yeah, than mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else you got for us? Uh, let's see another question. Let's see more questions. Uh, so we, I know we did talk about what we were going to use for our heroic effigy, but what did you guys actually end up doing with your mm. heroic effigy? This is a follow up from Bunny. That is, yeah. Just asking for him again because we we speculated as to what we would do. Yeah. Now that we've actually used him, what did you actually use your effigy for? Well, I kind of decided with mine because you get two effigies, right? So right. I decided yeah. to do one with Marana. One, yeah, I did one with <laughs> Marana. That's a sweet one. Obviously. And then I wanted to do one for the lulls, and I haven't done sure. that one yet. But the Marana one has her shooting an arrow up into the air. That's kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. I think to do... Starfall. Starfall whatever, whatever she's doing, probably missing an arrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shooting it straight up in the yeah. air. <laughs> what did yeah. what, what, you do as the, uh, the caption for that? Uh, shoot arrow, hit arrow. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Original. That's good. Yeah. 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 What about you, Ben? What'd you do that's so original? I haven't, I haven't touched mine. Oh, wow. Wow. So Okay. Okay. What about you, Jared? Uh, I have made one as well. Okay. And I did go with Kunkka. Very good. And uh, with him pointing the sword, I don't know. Is just... that with the inverse bayonet? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing's great. Yeah. And uh, Cool. The caption is, not that was a fail boat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fail boat. And my assumption is that if you change your items on your hero, it does not change correct. the effigy. Is that it's, correct? It's, it's set in stone, stone, if you will. Oh, I was hoping so. I just wasn't yeah. sure. It's effigized. Yes, effigized. <laughs> You've been effigized. So effigized. What about you, Cheeks? Let's see. For mine, uh, for my sort of lulls when I went for Io, and he just ends up looking like a piece of corporate art or something like right. that. <laughs> <laughs> the, those the little ball with the rods coming out. Those little like plastic crystal employee of the year awards. It's a lot of it's a lot of round stone stonish looking spheres yeah. basically. And then for my other one, I did uh, Triumph uh, doing his overgrowth animation. So his arms are lifted straight up. So it looks like he's looking up at you like he's like, come pick me up. Or, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. or I love you this much or something yeah. like that. Okay. I think that's what I put. Okay. It's my little take on precious moments. I like yeah. it. That's very nice. Your take on My mom has a whole cabinet filled of precious moments. She oh, did. I'm sure she does. It's so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so I think... I think we're going to cut it off at three, unless you have any other burning if questions. you have like a really good one? 
no. Okay, let's put it off. <laughs> I, feel, I feel so bad because I haven't really been on the Reddits lately. No, it's fine. You've had... I've been doing stuff, and I've been on vacation. And, well, yeah, work you've... vacation in Miami, and you've that was wild You've got a jet-setting lifestyle, and you've also yeah. had internet It was cool. Problems. I saw a Stingray, guys, face-to-face. Oh, and wow. he glad you didn't annoyed, do that. So I left him alone. Yeah. That's probably why. That was a, the barb a wise apart. move. Mm. But I feel so bad because I, I checked the Reddit today and I had Bunny asking me, how can I make it easier for you to keep noobs ass noobs current? And I was like, you can't. I just need to actually post the thread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to make I'll me just, not I, lazy. I swear this week, maybe even before next Sunday, I'll post a new noobs ass noobs for December That'd so we can great. get keep the ball rolling. Right. Awesome. And then, of course, on my Twitter, at Cheeks of Flappin', uh, I've started my campaign for better internet for myself. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. You should launch like a Patreon. It. It'll yeah. probably I've... be more successful than ours. Might, yeah. oh. So I've got, I've, if you want to retweet the tweet I put in, uh, I've got my internet provider's Twitter at thing there. And oh, yeah, okay. Hashtag put Cheeks back in the game. Yes. Uh, until then, I'll probably just be playing bot matches. And I was thinking about trying to record a bot, couple bot matches and put them up for content as... <laughs> Desert Island, Dota, or whatever. That sounds funny. Know. Yeah, I like it. You <laughs> should be like that guy that casted an entire tournament with just bot matches. But you're playing. There minutes. you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Playing the tournament. God. Uh, yeah. I just wish you could do captain's mode in bot match because then uh, I could actually choose my team. That would yeah. be a little more exciting. Why don't they put that in? I think you that can do that. Can't you? I don't think you can. If you, you can't, could... because there's not bot UI for every uh, hero. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you could. Just or bot the... AI. I always say that. Yeah, anyway, right. thanks for joining us, Cheeks. We'll see you next week. Yes, uh, definitely. Ben, where can we find you online? I am at Dota Yadneb on Twitter. Fantastic. Jared, yeah. what about you? Uh, personal account is plus 3,000, P-L-U-S, number 3,000. And then, of course, um, I've been trying to get some Dota bets on We Like Dota Bets. Yeah. So if uh, you're interested in some Dota 2 gambling. It's I'll, a hot account. Yeah. I'll do my best. You yes. lost everything, though, right? Yeah, I need to reload. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I lost everything also. Not, uh, not by following your advice, by following my own advice. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can find We Like Dota at welikedota.com with links to our Patreon, which, by the way, we're very grateful for our, all of our Patreon patrons. Oh, absolutely. We are. Yeah. Let's get some more people in there. You can donate a, a dollar. You can just get us a dollar. That's all. Just to <laughs> yeah, say, just a million dollars. You can just say, "Hey, I got a dollar. I like what you guys are doing. Keep doing it. Stay classy." And take my dollar. Take, take my, my dollar. dollar. Yeah. So go check that out. Uh, but yeah, we're thankful for everyone who's doing that. Um, by the way, I got to cast a match. Uh, Sky Ninjas, uh, Captain America sent yeah. me a vod. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be casting that pretty soon here. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. So look for that on the YouTube. One of the many fine rewards that you can get for becoming a patron. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we're also, we like Dota on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, and Twitch. Mailed it. And let's see, what else? Oh, our theme music is brought to you by Michael Edwards of the Flipping Tables podcast. We're going to do a little uh, switchy, switcheroo. Cross pollination, I believe. A little is teaser, what it's not switcheroo. Guys. I think cross pollination is a better. Okay. Better yeah, that's fair. It. Yeah, we're going to have those guys on our show and we're going to go on their show and vice. Versa. versa, which I already said. Verse Visa. So vice versa of that would just be normal. <laughs> it did a 360 on that one. Get the joke. Anyway. So we'll have some special guests. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's just. Why let, do they want to do that? Let's take this show out to the backyard and shoot it yeah, like gold yellow. Let's, let's put, put it, it down. down. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next week.